it was funny because okay, in that era where I was talking about, about working with Nip and doing all of that, I met T Fly during those times. He had the studio in the same building next to us. Okay. But I didn't know T Fly. But every day all he used to sleep at the studio. We would leave. Like we kind of was having money a little bit. You know, we had cars. T Fly was on the come up about to get a deal with, I think, Sony, Epic, whoever he had his deal right, with. Right, right, right. He was trying to get that deal, and but we, I was so I was hearing all the music that he was recording that wasn't out, and mm. that's how I got familiar with him. So by the time I'm working on Get Home Safely, and I remember I was somewhere at a truck stop on the road one day, and somebody came up to me, and it's a true story, like randomly, I swear to God, like two in the morning, I'm at a little thing looking through the little glass, about to get a ginger ale or some shit, mm. a water, and the dude was like, he's staring at me. I'm obviously like, okay, he gonna say something about music, and he asked me like. How did you know to put T Fly on that song? And I was like, damn. I mean, I guess that's how he looked at it. You know, like it just came out of nowhere. But now, nah, when we was recording, T Fly was in that same building recording. So I was hearing his songs every day. He was recording three or four songs. And I realized I knew the songs before they came out. Oh, wow. Because I was hearing them play them all day while we was just sitting there eating, yeah. chilling. I was hearing them. So by the time I got to doing Get Home Safely and I had to be for still calling, I asked, I sat, I went in his room and I said, could you do a hook for me on this? And then I'll do the verse. You know what I'm saying? And I sat there with him, and he was like, cool. And that's really how our collaborations really started working. You know what I'm saying? Like after that one day, it was like a Saturday, I remember. And I was like, man, I got this beat, bro. I think that you would kill it. And we did still calling that day. And then I've been working with bro literally ever since till shit. I seen him last week. I was going to say, yeah, you guys, I feel like you guys. Yeah, are- we never really fell out. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I understand what he does. And he understands what I do, and we always rocking. And um, you know, we, I put out an EP on OPM, like a five song EP, and I end up being on four songs, not intentionally, right, but right. just being on songs. But yeah, me and T Fly working on some a collaboration for the people. Man, I'm glad you oh, asked. Oh, nice. So you yeah. guys are gonna put up like yeah, an EP on or? OPM? We gonna put out an album. Oh shit! Yeah, that's together. Be big. Yeah, we already working on it. I was working on it before. That's a Bullet Kev exclusive. So a T Fly Dom project yeah. on the way. Yeah, I mean, on I feel like way. you guys have such a, a crazy album. chemistry. Yeah, we're gonna do a whole album. We already, we already more than halfway in. I kind of put it on pause to finish the West Side Three, but that's how I got that intermission, and it was kind of like a warm up to introduce and to keep the vibes going for the album. People will hear it, but we got a great. You know, we're gonna put out a great body of work. Twenty twenty two. How many records you guys have done? Right now, shit, maybe 12, but only like... Sounds like an album. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, probably really like three or four that I really want to keep. We right. got a lot of work to do, but we're going to put it out, though. It's already on the books, for sure. Fire. Yeah, it's already on the books. It's something we've been working on. 